Hey there guys, we're actually going to install John, uh, uh, Ubuntu, Jaunty version 9.04 on this computer, here. let me turn on the light, that HP right there, it's approximately a 1998 model, uh, it ran on Windows 98, has an Intel Celeron processor, runs at 533 MHz, has 256 megabytes of memory, I think it's 768 because I have a 512 megabyte stick in there, I think. Um, basically, the only reason it sides off is because it's so old, it does not have a DVD drive. This was the drive in it. It was just a CD. So, And I'm going to install John, uh, Linux on this because my friend asked me to install it because it can't run Windows XP or Vista. So we're going to go ahead and boot this. Open up the CD drive that I sit down. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, don't close on me there. We're gonna put Linux CD in there. Shamble on and I can't see anything down there, so... Okay, Linux CD's in there, and... No, we don't want to start Windows. Oh, what the fuck is your friend missing on? Pardon my French. It has Windows 2000 event server on it. Awkwardly enough. I need to restart this computer. Um, basically, yeah, I had Windows Server 2000 on it, I guess. I don't know what he was running on it, but... Okay, so Jaunty... Linux version 9.04 Jaunty is in there. And the setup is starting. Or it's booting from... Be booting from the CD, damn it. Alright, there we go. First, it's telling me to select my language. I'm English, so I'm gonna select English. I could try Ubuntu without changing anything on my computer, which means I could try it, basically. No changes to the disk. You can't save anything unless you have a USB flash drive in there. But I'm gonna install Ubuntu. Go down, install Ubuntu. Press enter. Okay. Now it's saying no DMI BIOS required to run Ubuntu. I think it doesn't detect that I have an updated BIOS. Who knows how, what version of BIOS this has. Basically, it's loading Ubuntu right now. Since Ubuntu is free, you can load it on multiple PCs with one disk. I am, is what I have been told. Meaning, unlike Windows, you're only supposed to load one Windows CD. So I put one Windows CD per computer. That's what it's supposed to be. One Windows PC per computer. Windows for that computer. One can't do that yet. You have to have one PC. But Ubuntu, you should be able to use your own disks because it has no need for a product key. Basically, it's just loading right now. So, and at three minutes. I feel as though, you know, it's taking forever. I'm just going to wait a minute. I don't know how much memory this camera's got, so I might have to pause it. Refresh it. So basically, the, the version of Ubuntu we're installing on this is the same one I have made on other tutorial videos on this machine. Um, which you've probably seen my last one, which, if I remember correct, that was getting KMS Media, or KMS Instant Messaging Services on here. Um, I'll just note right now, because I probably won't make a tutorial on how Ubuntu installs and how you when you run, I recommend having an, uh, internet source when you run Ubuntu, whether it's dial-up or anything. Because you're going to need to install updates. Still doing this. You're still going to need to do updates on the new Ubuntu PC that you just installed Ubuntu on. Right when you get it on there if you want to have any effects. It's a lot better to see. Um, I'll show you guys how to do this. Oh, it's loading. So, I'll show you guys how to do this. Just so when you get on there you can... That's a little bit easier to see. If I can focus, it's a little bigger. Okay, that's a little bit easier. First off, go to system, preference, or 
no, it's in administration. You need to go to update manager. Right there. So I don't know if you can tell, but that says update manager. Um, you're going to click on that. Um, you're probably going to have about around 117 updates. I'll check. Alright, Ubuntu has finished loading on this PC. Um, not sure that's supposed to happen. I've had this happen to me before because I didn't have enough display. Okay, there we go. I got my little cursor. Let's see if my mouse. Alright, figured out that I have my, um, my mouse plug in. Okay, we're just going to keep an eye on this for a second. Wait for something to pop up. Should pop up any second now. I'm still new to Linux, though. I'm actually a Windows person myself. A lot of people say a real network administrator tech would never lay a hands on Windows when it comes to when when it comes to servers. I don't see what the big deal is. I ran a Windows server 2008. It's quite simple actually. You know if you know what you're doing and all. But I actually got it. Um Okay, now I'm presented with this screen right here. It's asking me what I want to do. Um, over here, I have to select my language and it says ready to install. And it's going to walk me through a process. Which I'm going to come. Oops, mouse over here. This computer. Okay, it's going to lead me through in a process. I'm going to go forward. Come on. Blah, 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 blah. So far, it's been seven minutes. I'm going to try to do it in whole segments. Probably going to end up having to stop here. I'm going to stop at 8 minutes about. So that YouTube will let me put it on. And now i got to select my time zone. Currently I am in a um, western time zone. Um, my city is Los Angeles. Which is what I am in sync time zone with. Um, even though I don't live in Los Angeles. But that's fine. Click forward. Hold on, let's end this song. Okay, next it's going to ask me to do a keyboard layout. What type of keyboard layout it is. My suggestion option is USA. I do technically have a USA keyboard right now. So I'm just going to click next and you can see if you can type down here in this corner. Um, note, Linux uh, is compatible with almost any keyboard out there. Mac, Windows, um, almost any keyboard out there. I mean, I've got a Mac keyboard somewhere in this room. Um, so, now it's going to set up the partitioner. It's going to scan my disks. And this, I think it only has one disk. I didn't see a second one when I opened it up unless... It's got two different partitions to it. Why the hell am I listening to Taylor Swift Love Story? Shit. Better stuff. Okay, now it's brought my di brought my disks up. Okay, it already shows my previous operating system up there. Windows 2000 Advanced Server. It's on part of my disk. I can say use entire disk. I can say specify which what I want to have on there. See, this is only a 15.3 hard disk, and my this Windows 2000 server is taking up 14.3 of the 15 gigabytes free. So I need to delete Windows 2000 server. So I'm just going to tell it to use the entire disk, and it says right here this will delete Microsoft Windows 2000 Advanced Server and install Ubuntu. Before I do this, I'm going to pause the video so I can upload it to YouTube. See you in the next part.